Puducherry AICTE collaboration on technical leadership development program began in phase 2 UK Real and under the program Dudley College UK delivered the training which was focused on the following key aspects improving the quality of teaching and learning in institutions creating a mission statement and strategic plan improving employer engagement integrating information technology into teaching working with staff to improve motivation and overall outputs the second workshop was conducted at cv raman college of engineering bhubaneswar odisha with all the delegates together the aicte uk leadership workshop 2 was inaugurated at cv raman college of engineering by the aicte chairman professor anil d sahasrubudhe dr rs rathor director skill development aicte dr debanjan chakravarti director british council east india professor lawal williams principal dudley college uk i on behalf of aict cv raman college of engineering i welcome you all to this AICT UK leadership training program. We all talk about giving employment, but my objective is never, you know, look into the students to provide them employment. My objective is always we should make them entrepreneur so that they create employment for others. And to make it happen, first of all, we need to give them the right skills. We need to adopt the technology, the modern technology, introduction of the new IT systems. And we need to train our leaders, our faculties, our deans, our principals, giving them a lot of exposure of the different developed universities and giving them training of the leadership quality so that they can bring confidence, they can make strategic planning for their own institutions to see that it's becoming a great success. And when we talk about leadership, I think very important thing which a leader has to do is that he should be a role model for others. And that is the number one thing. And I think I have seen in Sanjeev Kumar Raut, an excellent leader who has transformed this institution in a, in a state like Odisha, which is un, generally otherwise is considered as a backward state. An excellent infrastructure is created here. And it stands amongst the top 100 institutions in the National Institutional Ranking Framework for the consecutive two years. We also said that you need to um, be not only self-aware, but you need to be looking outside of yourself. And I think you need to be looking outside of the sector. If you want to run a fantastic institution like this, you need to be talking to people beyond education. So you need to develop experience from outside the sector. And that will help you give the qualities to drive cultural change. And we talk so much about the culture of an institution, one that wants to develop. The focus of the workshop was to foster effective leadership qualities and promote managerial skills among the educational probationers of today. The workshop was attended by 100 participants from different leading AICTE affiliated engineering institutes in the country. UKRI stands for UK India Education Research Initiative and under that initiative one of the component is developing leaders, leaders for technical education, that is technical education leadership development program. Since all the participants are principals or dean or heads of the department which are leading the institution, uh, this program has given a vision, for, vision to us to how to change our growing institutions. But this workshop will make a change in us. This workshop has forced us to rethink the way we, we were leading our institution, the way we used to think previously, how to take our team together, what changes are required by the technical institutions. These kind of programs, we are having a different kind of uh, uh, experts and different kinds of person participants from different backgrounds. And I'm sure from these lectures, we all are taking the nectar of our own choice and capacity to our institutes. Though we all leading the institution already, but then getting experience and exposure from outside the country, from UK, is something unique. And 
it's a kind of get together with all the leaders of our country. Around 110 people have been gathered here and uh, with all of them chatting, leadership is something unique. Um, this year is slightly different as I'm running the Aspiring Managers program. So it's been split into two sections this year. Uh, those delegates who are already deans or, or vice deans and those who are heads of departments and who are looking to progress within their career. And so it's been really interesting to see the difference between uh, teaching um, those delegates who are already principals and those who are aspiring to be um, because actually their mindset is very different and I've been very impressed with the, the delegates this year because they, they have a real strong ambition to improve all elements of their institution. One very crucial point I would like to share is about the faculty from the Dudley College and the way they interact with us. Normally the seminar workshops are one-sided one, but this is a very peculiar workshop in which the interaction between the faculty and the participants is there. Not only that, the tasks are well-defined one. What you are supposed to do, how you are supposed to do, what is the method of evaluation, everything is well-planned and line one. This is the beauty of this workshop. I don't think that uh, the transformation is going to be magical, that uh, overnight everyone will start believing in the vision and mission statements of their institutions. But I think that uh, this program will uh, work as, you can say, awakening program. It will create that sensitization towards strong strategic focused leadership and that will lead to obviously the transformation which will be gradual in the coming years in our country. What we are trying to do in this program is actually give the delegates some support in applying leadership and management in the real world. So we do talk about the theories of leadership and management, particularly how you can make change. But what we try to do is give examples of where change has been effective and ineffective in the UK. We look at the personal skills a leader needs, we look at the technical management competence they need, and then we ask them, and this is most important, we ask them to actually manage and implement change in their own institutions. And the delegate's success or otherwise on the program depends on whether they can identify changes which need to be made, make the changes successfully, and understand the role of a leader and a manager in making change. It has been a wonderful experience being a part of this UKV AICT workshop. Uh, to start with, I have joined this workshop for the first time this time. And it has been a wonderful learning experience because uh, while we are working in our individual roles, we do face a lot of issues that we are not comfortable with and we don't know how exactly to address them. The best part, the biggest takeaway from this session is that we can make a difference. As participant, what we feel, what this training is going to give us. Uh, in the first class, uh, Mr. Lovell, who is principal of uh, Dudley College, he explained that not all the people are born with the qualities of leadership. Some will have to acquire this, some will have to learn this. So we are here to learn the leadership qualities. Yesterday, on 1st August, we had a visit around the campus and it is so nice and so pleasant and uh, so informative I had to say. Uh, chairman of this college, he took us, he explained so nicely, so deliberate so nicely everything, every workshop, every laboratory of this college. Yeah, really, it's a center of excellence. What I'm liking about this institute is the center of excellence that they have set up. I was highly impressed after seeing the chairman of the institute. He is so much enthusiastic. He took us everywhere around. There was a short tour that was arranged for the campus. And he is a self-motivating person. So what I have learned from him is that if the leader is motivating, the things move on very smoothly. I am uh, from an IIT background. But visualize, visualizing this environment and the infrastructure over here, I can say that this is, uh, this is an institute which is, which is at par with IITs. The services of the experts
from Dudley College UK were drafted to mount the three-day workshop. Engineer Sanjeev Kumar Rao extended a hearty welcome to all the participants and assured the AICTE chairman full cooperation in hosting such workshops in future.